We are witnessing a remarkable advancement in the automotive industry with the progressive penetration of electric cars. A decade ago, in 2010, these vehicles represented a tiny fraction of 0.01% in global sales, but in 2022, that percentage jumped to 14%. The trend suggests a continuous growth in this direction. China, as an economic powerhouse and one of the largest global consumer markets, is undoubtedly a protagonist in the electric vehicle segment. According to the International Energy Agency, in 2022, the Asian nation accounted for 60% of sales in this sector. Surprisingly, more than half of all electric cars in the world theoretically travel on Chinese roads. However, recently shared photos and videos on the web show a vast number of abandoned electric cars in locations that have been dubbed car graveyards. These cars appear to be in good condition, many with low mileage. Faced with these images, many wonder, why is China heavily investing in electric car production and yet many are being left to rot in vacant lots? The advancement of electric vehicles has had a significant impact on China, which has been able to capitalize on this movement. Previously, Chinese automakers, although producing inexpensive cars, were viewed with some reservation as they did not have the same technologies as their Japanese, American, and German counterparts. However, with the emergence of electric vehicles, all companies were starting from scratch, providing an ideal opportunity for Chinese brands to emerge and compete on equal footing. Furthermore, the rise of electric vehicles offered a great opportunity for China to reduce its dependence on imported oil and also fulfill its environmental commitments. In 2009, the Chinese government decided to grant massive incentives to companies and consumers in order to stimulate the development of electric cars. Since then, the government has already invested around $60 billion in subsidies for buyers and investments in companies. With these resources and one of the largest consumer markets on the planet, China's electric car industry has become a giant. Of the top 25 companies in this sector, 15 are Chinese, including well-known names like BYD, a global leader in electric and hybrid vehicle sales, and NIO, often compared to Tesla. Traditional car manufacturers such as Cherry and Lefan have also entered this promising market. In addition to financial incentives, the government is also using laws to drive the electric vehicle market. In some cities like Beijing, only electric vehicles are allowed to circulate in the central area. In others, such as Shanghai, the license plate for a traditional vehicle costs $12,000, while for an electric car, it is free. The country has also announced plans to phase out the sale of fossil fuel-powered cars by 2035. With these stimuli, sales have skyrocketed, and China has achieved impressive numbers. However, images circulating on the internet suggest that many of the vehicles that contributed to these high numbers are rotting in car graveyards appearing in various parts of the country. So, what exactly is happening? The growing environmental concerns and technological advancements are causing changes in consumer habits and generating new markets. Two clear examples are electric vehicles and vehicle sharing companies. In China, with a large number of consumers and government incentives, the scenario was perfect for the convergence of these two worlds. The term, sharing economy, has become part of everyday life, and many companies, such as Uber and Airbnb, have helped popularize this type of service. The urban landscape worldwide has been transformed with bike sharing, scooter sharing, and even car sharing services. In China, this concept was taken a step further, with some startups launching innovative services such as umbrella sharing, external phone batteries, and even basketballs. Some of these ideas, however bizarre they may seem, have received millions and even billions of dollars in investments. The low prices for acquiring electric vehicles, the government's facilitative conditions, 
and the availability of investor resources have led to the emergence of a large number of vehicle sharing companies. In 2017 alone, the sector received approximately 76 billion yuan in investments. To tap into these resources, over 340 car sharing companies were created in the country between 2015 and 2017. Even automakers jumped on the bandwagon and launched their own car sharing companies. Luxury brands such as BMW, Mercedes Benz, and Audi started offering shared cars, as did the Chinese company Lefan, which partnered with the internet company Baidu to launch Panda Auto. However, this boom in car sharing also had its collapse. Fierce competition led companies into a predatory race for consumers, resulting in reduced fares and sacrificed profit margins. Moreover, initially, the novelty made many consumers want to try the service, creating a false sense of demand. Over time, the demand decreased significantly. Many car-sharing customers began to face difficulties in finding parking spaces at the end of their trips and complained about the conditions in which they found the vehicles. The pandemic and the strict lockdowns imposed by the Chinese government were the final blow for many of these companies. Failing to provide the expected return, they pushed away investors and neglected proper vehicle maintenance, further alienating customers. Many of these companies started parking their cars in empty lots, and car graveyards emerged in various cities across the country. Pand Auto, for example, filed for bankruptcy in 2021, without refunding the deposits that over 4 million users had placed as guarantees on the platform. Thousands of the company's vehicles are parked on a lot in the city of Chongqing, exposed to the elements and rapidly deteriorating. In other companies that are still operating, at least officially, the situation is practically the same. In Hangzhou, thousands more cars are also rotting away abandoned in an empty lot. This time, the owner is the company Microcity which claims that the vehicles are in use. However, reports have attempted to rent a vehicle near the storage site and none were available. This situation, although curious, is not exactly new in China. The same situation occurred years ago with shared bicycles, which ended up abandoned in various empty lots scattered throughout the country. It is likely that these thousands of abandoned vehicles will never return to circulation, doing exactly the opposite of what was expected from electric vehicles, polluting the environment. Due to the lack of official information, it is difficult to know if the batteries have been removed or if they remain in the vehicles. This component contains heavy metals and, if left as is, can cause serious environmental damage. If you enjoyed this text, I'm sure you will also enjoy this other one about the railway built by China in the middle of one of the world's largest deserts. Thank you very much for reading this far, and until next time.